So if you really go the whole way and see how you feel at the prospect of vanishing forever, of all your efforts and all your achievements and your, all your attainments turning into dust and nothingness, what is the feeling? What happens to you? It's a curious thing that in the world's poetry, this is a very common theme. Do you see, in a way, how that is saying the most real state is the state of nothing? That's what it's going to all come to. And for some reason or other, we're supposed to find this depressing. But if somebody is going to argue that the basic reality is nothingness, where does all this come from? Obviously from nothingness. Once again, you get how it looks behind your eyes, you see. So cheer up, you see. That is exactly, don't you see, what makes it lively. So in this way, by seeing that nothingness is the fundamental reality, and you see it's your reality, then how can anything contaminate you? All the idea of your being scared and put out and worried and so on is just nothing, it's a dream. Because you're really nothing. But this is the most incredible nothing. sun, moon and stars and the mountains and rivers and the good men and the bad men and the animals and the insects, the whole bit, all are contained in void. So out of this void comes everything and you're it. What else could you be? 